Hey guys and welcome back to a new video Just finished with uh, packing my bike Cause uh, tomorrow I'm gonna fly to Bergen to have a lactate test in the lab This will be the last thing I'm going to, uh, to do before uh, the off season I'm gonna have uh, in two days Gonna have off season for almost two weeks I think so the reason why I'm going to have a lactate test tomorrow is to see where my bike uh, fitness are at the moment so that will be very interesting after many weeks in the saddle and the test that I'm going to have is the test that we usually have with the 8 times 6 minutes and then I will to max so I can show you then we have to go to training peaks Oh, my training. So today I had a short session on the cross trainer. Then I had a short uh, bike workout. And later today I'm going to have a short swim session before the test tomorrow. So I don't have the protocol for the test, but I found the workout from last time I had this test or actually from one year ago, in the end of August last year, so we can check that out. So here you can see. Um, okay, so if you see here, we have a warm up with the six minutes easy, six minutes at LT1, three minutes at LT2, then some easy spinning before we start with the eight times six minutes with some uh, progression uh, and last time I started on like maybe 180-90 watts then up to like 360 and then it's a VO2 max and uh, that's just getting harder and harder as long as you can keep up and for those who like numbers I'm gonna show you the results from uh, the test one year ago and for those who don't understand Norwegian, here I started with a lactate of uh, 1.55 before the warm up, and after the warm up I had 1.25. And here is all the steps with the average power and the lactate. And then I had a VO2 max which started on 350 watts and then it increased with uh, I don't know 20 25 watts per minute up to 460 and I averaged 402 watts in seven minutes and I had over 13 in uh, lactate after the VO2 max effort so that was brutal so that's the test that I'm gonna have tomorrow um, will be very interesting to see where I'm standing right now and as you maybe saw from the results from my test one year ago <coughs> I'm not that good on the turbo so I'm better to push what's outside so if I should guess I will guess that I will have a threshold power 40 maybe 50 watts lower on the turbo than outside so uh, we'll see tomorrow and one more thing it's something that i have to show you it's something that i bought like three months ago that i got in the mail two weeks ago this one i think is called the cloudy wipe saw it on tiktok so you just fill this up with water 
Then you take some uh, perfume or something, something that smells good. And then you have fresh air. It's so good, so I really recommend it. No ad, nothing, just the GG. So see you guys tomorrow in the lab. I'm on vacation every single day Cause I love my occupation Hey, hey, I'm on vacation If you don't like your life, then you should go and change it Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day Cause I love my occupation Hey, hey, I'm on vacation every single day Every, every single day Steg till. Kom igen nu. Minimum ett till. Frekvensen. Håll benen i gång. Kom igen nu. Kör på. Kom igen. 30 sekunder igen. Kom igen, Nikida. Håll dig gående. Tryck till nu. Kom igen. Fortsätt. Kom igen nu. Inte släpp upp. Kom igen. Det är 20 sekunder igen. Kom igen nu. Det är 20 sekunder igen. Kom igen. Tryck till. Inte släpp. Kom igen nu. Minimum 15 till. Kom igen. Det är bra. Fortsätt. Fortsätt. I alla fall 10 till. Kom igen. Tryck, tryck, tryck. Inte släpp upp. Kom igen. Kom igen. Håll dig gående. Det är bra. Deilig. Var det tungt eller? Hva blir den? 15,41. Det er bra. Back in Tønsberg after a real nice weekend in Bergen. With some testing. I thought that I should show you guys my test results and analyze it. So here it is. It was actually a pretty good uh, test. If you remember the test that I had one year ago that I showed in the start of this video, I I think that I had like 20, 25 watts higher uh, at all the steps this time. So uh, very happy about that. And the feeling this time was so much better. It was much easier at all the steps, but uh, my lactate was actually much higher than I expected. 
especially on the last VO2 max uh, effort that I measured 15.41 in uh, lactate so that's all-time high lactate and that was actually very surprising because uh, I've been doing so much LT1 and LT2 work uh, this summer so thought that my uh, Villa Max was um, lower but uh, that shows that uh, bike races that I have raced the last weeks uh, actually has uh, pushed my Villa Max uh, to the skies but uh, it was a good test, uh, not the uh, all-time high on the VO2 max, but had almost 83 in the 60 sec uh, average. And um, one year ago I had almost uh, 87, so a little bit uh, lower, but uh, the watts is uh, higher and that's what's matter. Actually a pretty good test, because... Uh, my need in training is uh, LT1 and LT2 training and that uh, fits good with my plan for the next couple of weeks because uh, in four weeks I think me and Sebastian are going to Sierra Nevada for a four weeks long uh, altitude camp so it's gonna be great to do a lot of uh, LT1 and also a little bit of LT2 work in the altitude uh, hopefully the altitude camp will push my Villa Max down, down to the earth. Um, so that's my plan and tomorrow I have off season and I'm gonna have off season in two weeks. Then I'm going to have uh, three weeks of uh, build up before the altitude camp. So then it's five weeks until the altitude camp. And once again, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you like the content. See you in the next video, GG. Okay, are you guys? Easy.